Danico's been waiting ten years for you not to have a sponsor. Tex! And I've been waiting 50 for someone to wear a number that's been tucked away a little too long. Smokey, did you do this? Tex and I go way back. But the question is, are you ready to do a little racing? Just watch me. <laughs> Only minutes away from the start of this year's Florida 500. I'm Bob Cutlass, joined as always by my broadcasting partner, Daryl Cartrip, and stat sensation Natalie Certain. I've never seen the numbers light up for Storm like they do today, Bob. Between his phenomenal lap times and these ideal track temperatures, Storm should be 96.8% unstoppable. Wait, wait, wait a minute. I'm getting word Lightning McQueen may have found a way into this race. And it has something to do with that old rascal Tex Dynaco. Body breaches! Nobody better even think about touching that channel! Racing fans, the 43rd and final spot in today's race, running under the Dynaco Racing banner, join us in welcoming back to Florida, one of racing's all-time greats, Lightning McQueen! Turn of events, folks! Lightning McQueen, wearing the 51 of his friend and mentor, the fabulous Hudson Hornet. I didn't think I'd ever see that again. So, uh, Natalie, uh, you having any second thoughts? Nope. My data is rock solid. Sorry to tell you this, but it takes a lot more than new paint to win a race. Well, it's complete. You're as slow as he was, and now you even look like him. You gonna race like the old man, too? You know what? I hope I do. Hey, do me a favor. Show him how the old men roll. You got it. Buggity, buggity, buggity! Let's go racing! <laughs> Thomasville. Thomasville? Yeah, see through the window. Lightning McQueen is making steady progress in the early parts of this race. Well, it won't be enough to catch Storm. Considering he started dead last, I don't think he's doing half bad. <laughs> Storm's over. 